average rainfall for the year since 2005 is given in the table below. In 2010, there was this amount of rainfall. How much more rainfall than predicted by the table above? Round your answer to the nearest hundredth. To find the average rainfall for the year 2010 predicted by the table above, we're going to use the linear, or as we can call it, the tangent line approximation. And that is because the tangent line is a very good approximation if we are close to this x value, which is 2010. To make things easier, let me explain by using a graph. Always remember to use graphs to make things easier for you. In this graph, we have a curve of a certain function and we have a value of x and a tangent line that is tangent to the curve at the x value. Here is the x value and this one is the tangent line. So the tangent line is a very good approximation to the curve itself if you are close to this x value. Now, let's name the column of years as x and the other one as f of x. To find the average rainfall for the year 2010, we will name it as x. And the two values which are close to it as x1 and x2. We will call the two values down here as y1 and y2. And the equation that we are going to use is L of x equals to f of x2 plus derivative of f of x2 times the term of x minus x2. To find the derivative of f of x2, we are going to use the two terms which are x1, y1, x2, y2. Now, the first step is to find the derivative of f of x2, which is the slope. So, derivative of f of x2 equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So, 1.580 minus 1.537 divided by 2008 minus 2007. The answer will be 0. 0, 4, 3. The second step is to substitute the given values into our previous formula. The given values are f of x2 which equals to 1.580 derivative of f of x2 which equals to 0.043 x which equals to 2010 x2 which equals to 2008 so l of x equals to 1.580 plus 0 0.043 times the term of 
2010 minus 2008. The answer will be 1.666. This value is different from the actual one because in 2010 the average amount of rain was 2.9. Five, six. To find the added amount, we will subtract this value from the actual one. So 2.956 minus 1.666, we will get 1.29, which is to the nearest hundredth. So the amount of rain is 1.29.